On the evening of August 6th, Figure AI released the second generation humanoid robot, Figure 02, calling it the world's most advanced AI hardware. Backed by NVIDIA, OpenAI, Microsoft, and Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, Figure 2 has changed its appearance to a sleek exoskeleton structure with new GPU and CPU performance that has increased three times compared to its previous generation. Able to complete more than 20 hours of effective work per day, Figure 2 is being tested on a production line at BMW's Spartanburg plant in the US to identify initial use cases for humanoid robots in automotive production. Meanwhile, over at Tesla, CEO Elon Musk has said that there are currently two Optimus humanoid robots working in the company's Fremont, California factory, with Tesla intending to have more than 1,000 Optimus robots in operation next year. Needless to say, Tesla has been hiring the best deep learning, computer vision, motion planning, mechanical and general software engineers to bring its AI humanoid bot vision into fruition. Chinese car manufacturers are also pursuing AI and humanoid robot opportunities, with Ubitech commenting that its robot Walker S Lite has recently entered the Zika 5G smart factory training, being able to carry 15 kilogram boxes and walk stably. Equally, the same robot has undergone trials at NEO's EV production line, adjusting and checking seatbelt installation on vehicles, along with applying brand badging to its models. Not to be outdone, Mercedes has signed a commercial agreement to trial Aptronic's humanoid Apollo 1 robot installed at its new Ketchkamate factory. Trials began with two different robot types in March 2024. We can't but help shed a little tear for Honda's Asimo being retired in 2022. The goat of humanoid robots still arguably walks better than all of the humanoids here. Although we don't fancy his chances arm wrestling against Boston Dynamics' all-new Atlas, which humanoid robot do you think has the most potential to work in a car factory? And do you think the introduction of non-human supplementary workers into such situations puts jobs at risk? Or rather creates higher value and safer ones for those already employed in car manufacturing? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.